Dear Henry, Matthew, Michelle, and Sari, Last night for a while I thought I would never see another day. We were in the Hamlet Gardens in Westwood having dinner with Jess and Donna Garber, sitting at a table in the lovely room with the most uncomfortable seats. I had just taken care of the seats by asking the waitress for pillows and had begun eating my salad when a piece of lettuce became stuck in my throat. All of a sudden I couldn't breathe. I couldn't get any air into my lungs. It was as though time had stopped. The people around me in the room were chatting and chewing. Chuck was behind me, patting me on the back, and Donna was saying that wouldn't help, and it didn't. I got up gasping for air, and everyone stayed in place. No matter how I coughed, I couldn't dislodge this little piece of lettuce. No matter how hard I gasped for air, I couldn't get it into my lungs. It was like having a dam in your throat. I couldn't inhale, and I couldn't exhale. Chuck was asking me if I was all right, and I couldn't talk. Imagine me unable to talk. The worst was that while all this was going on, I felt invisible. It seemed like an eternity had passed when the waitress came up behind me, told me to relax, and told me she was going to do the Heimlich maneuver. She did, and a little piece of lettuce about the size of a fingernail on your little finger flew out, and I was fine. It turned out this was the first time she had ever done this. But if she had thought about that, or the liability, it probably would have been too late. The waiter in the restaurant, who is an ex-fireman, and really knows how to do the Heimlich Maneuver, was off. What do you say to someone who has saved your life? I didn't cry, although I am close to tears now. I hugged her, and said something inane, and sat down. And all at the table sat down and resumed eating. Needless to say, I did not even touch another piece of lettuce. I wrote a letter of commendation to the owners of the restaurant, got the waitress Jill Giles' phone number and address, and then finished eating. We walked to the theater and saw an incredibly well-acted but unbelievably depressing play. We came home, and it was as though nothing had ever happened. I don't remember if I took a bath or not. I think I read for a while, but I'm not sure. The most interesting thing was that I didn't think all the thoughts one reads about those about to die having, such as things left undone, unsaid, or unseen. I didn't think about regrets I had or achievements I'd made. I thought only about getting this damn piece of lettuce out of my throat. I remember thinking about sticking my finger down my throat, but somehow I couldn't do it. Before I went to bed, I wrote Jill a letter. It was about fate that had brought us together, gratitude for what she had done, and about being there for her as she had been there for me. This morning I went to Tiffany and bought her a bracelet. There is an old Chinese proverb that says that when you save a person's life, either you are then forever responsible for them, or they are forever responsible for you. I don't remember which it is, but in some funny way, I now feel I have a responsibility for her. She wants to become an actress, works with deprived children, and waits tables awaiting her big break. I can't intrude on her life, but if she ever does come to us, I'll do everything I can to help her. As I wrote the salutation, I realized how long it's been since I wrote in my journal. I also realize, as I sit here, how important you, your parents, and Chuck are to me. I love you all so very much. I love each of you because you are my family, not because of how you look, how smart you are, how athletic you are, or what you do for me. My love is unconditional. Each of you is so very different and so very special. I love playing with you, watching you grow, learning from you, and even miracle of miracles, I have a modicum of patience when we are together. My plan when I started this journal was to be sure you had some connection to me if I were to die when you were all very young. I didn't expect to come so close so soon. I guess if there is anything to be learned from my experience, it is be lucky and especially to be careful when you eat lettuce. 
I will not promise to write more often because I like to keep my promises, but I will try.